Tomorrow morning, a judge will decide whether or not the annual 4th of July fireworks show at La Jolla Cove will be allowed to take place. Today, they heard arguments from an animal rights group on why they want the tradition to end. And Phil is back with highlights from that hearing. Yeah, but Kathleen, that's right. A lawsuit was filed by the Animal Protection and Rescue League claiming the fireworks will harm newborn sea lion pups and it would be in violation of the Federal Marine Mammal Protection Act. Attorneys for the La Jolla Community Fireworks Foundation say it's an event that's paid for by the community and it's been going on for the past 30 years. The annual fireworks show was canceled in 2018 because of a lack of funding and scrapped last year because of the pandemic. Today, the judge heard from both sides. He's also reviewing documents before he initially makes his ruling that we'll hear about tomorrow. It's likely that if they did follow the proper process, um, NOAA, the federal agency that enforces MMPA, would say, okay, you can't do it 30 feet from where the sea lions are giving birth and nursing their young. And, the sea lion pupping season is June and July. It's not May and June like harbor seals down the way. So they are giving birth right now. Um, there have already been 49 documented births and seal pups right there. Fireworks have been going on in La Jolla for 33 of the last 36 years. And I don't say that because, um, because we should just keep doing what we're doing. I say that, and I'll get to it later, because there should be some evidence of harm after 33 times. Now, from 2010 to 2014, there were some legal challenges filed by an environmental group to try to prevent the fireworks because of how they could impact the site. And by the way, the show was launched back in 1985 by the owner of George's at the Cove restaurant, and he financed it for more than 20 years. Fox 5 will be waiting for the judge's decision. Of course, we'll bring it to you tomorrow on air and online, Kathleen. All right, our Phil Blower, once again, thank you so much for that report.